It's me, Amy B. Hi. And today I want to talk about the fascia network. The fascia is the largest organ in the body. It's known as the organ of posture. It's also the largest sensory organ in the body. What I'd love to introduce you to today is the understanding of fascia and the concept of how a very short daily practice can eradicate tension in your body. The fascia is a form of connective tissue that is always growing. It's a fascia that holds us up. Just as the fascia is always growing, so is our understanding of the fascia network itself. We've been learning in recent years the importance of this organ. Not only does it cope to create glide between all of the muscles, organs, fibers, blood cells, the nervous system, every part of our body is both coated with and connected to each other by a fascia. The fascia is also reactive that people understand that trauma is stored in the body. It's not entirely accurate as trauma is unintegrated experiences that trigger a response in the brain, which then sends a message to the fascia to respond. So what we find is that in these layers and layers and layers of fascia that have been continually growing, there is all manner of stress and tension built up. An easy way to explain the fascia is thinking of scar tissue. So if you were to cut your arm, you're quite aware that the fascia scar tissue would grow over to seal the cut. If you were to walk around like this all day, every day, as you can imagine, the fascia would grow into this pattern. But being that the fascia is always growing, what happens is when we have these repeated structures, uh, desk posture, for example, or text posture, what happens is the fascia then around these areas grows more and more in density. But the trick is to have regular movement so that you don't get those layers of fascia. If you walked along like this all day, every day, it would grow like that. But even if just a couple of times a day, you would have released that shoulders holding pattern, you would also release the layers of fascia. It's true, a lot of us have got deep layers of fascia holding, which hold us up. This is the integrity of our tension. It's known as tensegrity. It's the tensegrity which holds us in our posture. So I'd like to talk quickly about common holding patterns and how to eradicate them. As you can imagine, as a massage therapist, if I don't take care of my body, then I will get a lot of tension building up. I'm also managing a couple of chronic conditions. One is a dropped arch in the foot, creating plantar fasciitis. The other is a crick in the neck, which is causing me misalignment in the jaw and tension headaches. That's if I don't keep on top of my daily practices. So as the fascia is responsible for holding us upright, what quite often happens is we end up with mass of this strong connective tissue connected from one anchor point to the next. For example, it's fairly common for us to be forward sloping these days on our computers, in our cars, and as we're rushing through life. But what happens with this forward posture? What is holding the head up? the fascia that leads down to the middle back. And then what is holding the back up? The fascia that leads down to the very lower back. So these areas then have anchor points. So what this is, is a very thick, dense, connective tissue, which is built layer by layer, as day by day, these layers have built in these spaces. So what happens if instead we switch on the glutes? By squeezing the bump, it brings the pelvis underneath the body which automatically turns off this holding. The very simple thing, an adjustment that you can make right away is when you're sat on your computer, you're in your car, or you're rushing around, squeeze the bum to bring the pelvis a little more in line. And then you'll find that this doesn't have to hold anymore. It can just stack. So that's what alignment is, is alignment is finding the least resistance between two points. So this, there is a large amount of resistance here having to hold this up. But this brings in a lot less resistance so this body isn't having to hold. So this simple technique can eradicate shoulder pain, neck pain, mid-back pain, and lower back pain, if that's where your misalignment is. Other common misalignments are standing onto one foot. Now, this is something that I did a lot, particularly as a massage therapist, and this is how I ended up with plantar fasciitis. So I was weighing very much into one side, and what happens is the other side then kind of hitches. So within this holding pattern, my lower body goes that way, so my upper body has to come this way, so my neck ends up going that way. And the fascia is always growing in this pattern. So how do we eradicate this? Well, it's bringing awareness that I'm balancing in my left leg, and can I actually drop my weight into the right leg, focusing on the outer edge of the foot, balancing on the right, you notice, and then my upper body starts to open up. 
So those are just a couple of realignment exercises that will really help your fascia to be growing in the optimal way. Just love to share with you a one minute exercise. This is part of my one minute yoga routine, but this is going to create a connection to an awareness of your fascia holding and also give it that space to open up and let go on a daily basis. So first things first, taking a look at the feet and the knees, we want to make sure that the feet, knees and hips are in alignment looking down. And once you're happy that your feet are under your knees, soften the knees, have a little bit of a bounce. Check that your knees are above your feet. I'd like you then to grip the earth with your feet. So imagine like you're going to take a fistful of the earth but with your feet. So in that engaging through the feet, you should feel a slight engagement coming through the pelvic floor. If not, squeeze the pelvic floor like you'll stop yourself doing a week. Squeeze your bum so you've got a nice rock hard booty. So what this does is then it engages the pelvis to come out of any holding pattern and into a more of a straight box that then holds the rest of our body. And imagine that elevation that then comes from the pubis coming forward, up through the belly button, up through the rib cage, and a gold cord comes out the top, shoulders back and down. This is an aligned posture. So even if you get close to this, so let's just check those points again if you're with me. Grip the feet, soft the knees, squeeze the bum and pelvic floor, elevate up through the center forward body. And we're going to do this with a breath. So this is a one minute meditation practice. So we breathe in for three, we breathe out for three. And as we breathe in, everyone exhale at the same time. So we're going to sequence. As you breathe in, I want you to breathe from the inside of your feet, breathe up your body. So it's almost like you're lifting your body as you breathe. I'm just using the arms to demonstrate. You don't have to. You breathe all the way to the top. And then as you breathe out, you breathe down the back of the body. So the shoulders come back and down. The bum relaxes. You relax all the way down to the heels. So say from the back, you breathe in. You come up from the inner leg, the inner feet. You elevate. You breathe out. You drop it and it down. So it goes a little something like this. You breathe in, up the front of the body. So you're imagining this elevation that comes from the arch of the foot up through the inside legs that creates then space between every vertebrae of your spine until you get to the top. And then as you breathe out, you relax down the back of the body. So you're shedding your shoulders back and down, your tailbone down, your bum down, relaxing through the back of your legs into the heels. Then we breathe in, up through the inside front of the body, elevate to the top. And exhale, soften shoulders back and down, relaxing everything down the back of the body. Breathe in, up the front, to the top. Breathe out, down the back, to the bottom. Breathing in, imagining that lifting and elevating, creating space through the front of the hips, through the front of the rib cage, front of the pecs, up through the face. Exhale, imagining now the back of the neck, all down through the back of the spine, softening, creating space, heading down towards the earth. Inhale, up through the middle, creating space, like a lifting that happens in the front of the body. And then an exhale, a softening that happens through the back. Inhale, as you're imagining the expansion between all of the little fibers are opening up, all the way up and through. And then exhale, they just soften and let go, letting it go all the way, giving it back to the earth. More breaths like this. Inhale, expand. Gold cord through the center of the crown, elevating you up. And then soft body landing you here between earth and sky. Inhale through the middle front body. Really connecting with any areas that feel tight, breathing into them, allowing them to expand. Squeezing the pelvic floor. And then exhale, letting everything soften, letting everything go. Continue with your breath in through the front of the body. And then down and out through the back of the body. Sink in for three. Sending nourishment through your system, sending gratitude to your body. And out for three, allowing softening so that you may stand stacked between earth and sky. And then we'll reach 20, so we reach up high together. Inhale, high. Exhale, hands down, into prayer. A little bit of gratitude for your body always, always helps. It also creates an endorphin release, which creates a reward structure, which creates a daily habit. So what we're doing here 
is a fascia realignment exercise. As we're sending messages through our tensegrity, our holding patterns, that this is how we wish to be held. So we're creating a support structure up through the middle body, creating space through the front of the body, and then allowing a softening through the tension at the back of the body. So if you're interested in learning more, look out for more videos, look out for my courses. My name's Amy B, and I'll see you in the next video.